All right, let's talk about failure. So failure has a negative meaning for a lot of athletes and people in general. But failure is actually what helps you level up and progress to that next level. So Thomas Edison failed a thousand different times trying to make the light bulb. Michael Jordan missed more than 9,000 shots in his career. Tom Brady says he's failed over a thousand times in his career. Starting to see a pattern? Failure is a stepping stone to success. The only time failure is a problem is when you stop trying. So I don't think I can count the number of times that I've failed in my athletic career. In grade nine, I got cut from every team I tried out for. In university, I got cut from the travel team my first year, and I got cut from conferences in my third year. For Team Canada Skeleton, I got cut twice. So failure is a part of life. And if you can get comfortable with failing in practice, in training, in trying new things, that's what's going to separate you from, competi from your competition. Too many athletes are afraid of failure. You see it as not being good enough. You see it as making too many mistakes. You don't think that other athletes are failing. You don't think the top athletes are failing. To be honest, coaches want to see you fail. They want to see you have to work for things. When I'm coaching athletes, I want to put them in a position where they're going to fail from time to time. The key is it's not about seeing you fail or struggle. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what other coaches are looking for. We're trying to teach you how to overcome failure in a controlled environment so you can be successful in the game. I want to make training harder than you, <clears throat> harder than the game so that you feel like it's easy when you get in the game. The goal of failure is to help you learn and adapt and rise up. It should give you the confidence to perform at that next level because you've gone through that struggle, you have to work for it, and you've developed those skills. Through failure, you learn how to overcome adversity. You learn how to keep working. You learn how to push past your old limits so you find your new limit. And you learn strategies to help make sure you don't fail when it matters. Also, if you do fail when it matters, you need to learn from those mistakes. You need to adapt and grow. So no athlete who has been successful has never gone through failure. And you need to remember that and put yourself in tough positions, especially if you want to play at that next level. So only 6 to 8% of athletes play after the high school level. If you want to be one of those athletes, you need to go through that adversity, that failure, and learn and develop and build up that resilience so you have the confidence in your abilities that you need to. So going back to those people who failed earlier, Thomas Edison is one of the most famous inventors ever. He had over a thousand patents to different inventions that changed the world like the light bulb. Michael Jordan is a six time NBA champion and considered one of the greatest athletes ever and arguably the best NBA player ever. I personally think one player is better, but Jordan's definitely one of the best to ever do it. Tom Brady won seven Super Bowls and is considered one of the greatest players in the history of the NFL who was also drafted in the sixth of seven rounds. So he was drafted in the second last round and became one of the best ever. After I got cut from every team I tried out for in grade nine, I was a multi-sport all-star in grade 12. After I got cut from the conference team and university track, I went on to win a conference championship in three events. I helped the team win the overall conference championship and won a medal at nationals. Brock Purdy is also the last draft pick who is playing unreal. And after I got cut from Team Canada Skeleton, I was able to finish second overall on an international circuit. And this year I get to compete on World Cup where I get to travel to Korea, China, Germany, and Latvia. So the moral of the story 
is that failure is not a bad thing. Failure is a stepping stone to being successful. The more you fail and the faster you fail, the more you're going to learn and the faster you learn, which is going to put you ahead of your competition and give you more opportunities. So don't see failure as a negative thing. It's only negative if you let it defeat you. Failure is an opportunity to learn how to be successful and will help you develop the skills you need to get to the next level. Okay? That's all I have. The big thing is make sure that you see failure as a tool, not something that's going to harm you. Uh, the Zoom meeting with school is an opportunity to ask any questions that you want. So if you have any questions you want to chat, I will be in that Zoom meeting in four minutes. All right, that's a wrap.